Am I taping? Okay. I thought I pushed the button. <laughs> Beautiful morning. Uh, the sun is, look, you can see it on the beach. The sun is shining. It hasn't been shining like this in the morning forever. See the sky? That's how it normally is. But it's all over usually. Anyways, we are going to be using a different detector today. We got a uh, Nocta. What is it? Legend. Of course, you can't see it because I'm not pointing the camera. Right. Anyways, so we're going to try this out. Uh, they actually reached out to me and gave me one. Said, here, just try it out. <laughs> See what you think. They have, they have that much confidence in it. <laughs> but I, honestly, though, I've been wanting one of these. Uh, I've watched videos and stuff on it. And it seems like a pretty good detector. But we're going to find out today. We're going to find out. Well, if there's nothing down there, if there's nothing down there. No detector can help you uh, find targets if they aren't there. And I got a feeling that's kind of how it's going to be. So I got my fishing pole. So we'll try that too. But hopefully we can use some gold right now. I, I spent all that last gold I found already. Well, not all of it. I still have some money left. I always keep... Uh, a couple of hundred just so I could have gas to get down here but I could use a couple more to feel on top again and there's a, a few things I'd like to buy uh, summer's getting ready to be here and I want to do some more fishing trips actually I actually want to go on a boat like do a real fishing trip wow I can still see the tide line way up here from when it was uh, super high tides. Hey, look, you guys. This trash can is packed full. Oh, I better turn on my detector now. You know what that means? It means there's people here yesterday. My hands are full right now. I'd collect that can off the ground. Huh. All right. <laughs> Uh, I, I actually have to figure this thing out. I've never used one. Figured out how to turn the volume on at the car. And I switched it to beach mode. And I watched a video, so uh, hopefully I can figure it out from there. <laughs> uh, let's just turn her on. Uh-oh, wrong button. <laughs> I'm already messing up. Look at it. The screen's not doing that on real life, but in the camera it is. We got power. It actually comes with a, a battery you can put right here. I haven't figured out what that is yet. But we got it charged up and we're going to go for it. Oh wait, I just turned it on. Sounds pretty good. It's not making any noise. Oh. I hope it goes louder than this. We'll see when we get a target. All right. Wow, what a beautiful day. Beautiful. Surfers are just running down here. <laughs> We got our very first signal. Kind of broken up. Uh, sounded better when I taped first sound. It. It's like 20. Oh, no, it's nothing. I guess you don't know until you dig it. I haven't messed with the settings at all. I haven't turned up the sensitivity or speed or anything. So, 
probably just a tent stick or something. All right, I think I got it. Yeah, must be iron. Well, I'm just guessing. I'll take one more scoop on it. Yeah, I think there's iron in here. Uh, probably shows up on the pin pointer. So, next target. We'll see what happens. This is actually what it was. I used my thing. So, I did find it. There's my hole still. Uh, it's good to know. Well, I already started digging this one. Uh, Thirty-four, by thirty-four, thirty-six. The numbers. And by the way, I do not know what the numbers are. Thirty-one, thirty-two. Those are the numbers that are coming up. So, from what I saw, that could be a nickel. Uh, that's probably iron again. I gotta figure out that if there's an iron button. It's a pinpoint. Wow. Huh. Probably right there. But yeah, we're picking up some iron, so uh, I guess I gotta look for the crisp, clear sounds. with it and see what I can find. I'm not going to leave the camera on while I do that because we, uh, I'm, on, I'm not on full battery on the camera today. All right. Well, let's see if that's actually a target or if it's iron. I think we actually got a target this time. And I see it. What do we get our first coin ever in this machine? It's a penny. <laughs> Probably zinc. The way stuff stuck to it. Anyways, there's another detector. I was heading down to a spot and he ran over there and got on it before me. Dang it. I need to bring some small gold with me so I know what I'm listening for. This probably is not a good target. But we're gonna find out. Yeah. Actually, I see something. Oh, what am I talking about? Look at that. Huh. That's a ring. Wow, oh no, it's an earring. Wow. All right, we'll take it. <laughs> really light no wonder it was sounding like that okay i know to dig that sig those kind of signals All right. uh that actually could be something good it looks quality quality made anyways uh we'll find out when we get into the wrap up
Uh, I'm gonna look for some more. Dang it, he's digging stuff too. That's the spot I was going to. All right, I got another sound. I'm already just digging it because I wasn't gonna turn the camera on. Go, okay, I'm gonna turn it on. Just a small sound. Big, but it's repeatable, so gotta dig it. Kind of fill in my hole as I go. <laughs> By the way, here's where I dug the earring, I think. No, maybe it was up there. That's just where I put my scoop. Okay, this is bringing up 17, 16. I'm thinking zinc penny. Just, uh, I gotta figure out how to... Oh no, no way, no way. Another ring. Wow. No, an A ring. The other one was an earring. Oh, it broke in my hand. Oh, yeah. Must be a cheapo. Right back there. It's breaking. Kind of a cool ring, though. We'll take it. Two ring, I mean, two piece of jewelry already. That's crazy. On a new detector. What does that mean? Does that mean it's a good detector? I don't know. <laughs> so far, I'm pretty happy with it though. Now I haven't been gridding or anything. I'm just walking like in a couple of spots here. All right. Back to it. There's the the Asian ladies. They come down here and they play in the water. They've been doing it for years. And they're like uh, older women. So there must be something good about it. I'm gonna go join them here. I'm an older man. <laughs> Another signal. Look at it. What? No, maybe not. That was probably iron. Uh, never mind, it is a signal. Let me get my scoop. Right there where I left that line. We gotta dig it. I mean, we found two pieces of jewelry right here. I think it's iron. We're gonna find out. I'm learning this machine really quick here. <laughs> I know there's a thing where you, yeah, it's quite iron. I'm not even gonna bother with it. Nah, it's still in there. You know how you push a button and it goes beep, 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 whatever, and gets all the other signals out off the beach, like from other detectors or your phone or whatever, EMI or, I forget what it's called, but I need to do that because it's picking up on my pinpointer. I'm pretty sure this is just iron. I don't even want to waste my time, but I do not know this machine. Sounds like right now. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's iron for sure. Or a cheap jewelry. It's never known. There could be another signal. No, it's Iron, I knew it. Back at it. All right, we got another signal. So 
weird one. 30 is the number. So I gotta start remembering that. So I can learn my signals. Yeah, 30. I believe 30 is a nickel. I don't know yet though. No, there's a zinc penny. All right, let's see if we can get some more. Whoops. <laughs> well, I'm getting used to it. Well, kind of. Fifty-nine. But I don't know all the signals yet. But I'll tell you one thing. I've already dug a couple of tin stakes. Didn't turn the camera on for those. I'm feeling like this is one too. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna get all the tin stakes out because I dig tin stakes. I oh no, it's not. But I see iron in my scoop right there when I laid it down. See, see the iron? So even if it's not a tin stake, we know it's iron. This those are eggs. <laughs> Grenion eggs. <laughs> Probably, jeez. Oh, that's what it was. Oh, somebody was telling me they wanted to go granny hunting. I keep thinking I see a tent stake. What are you doing? Uh, anyways, yeah. Turn the camera on. All my signals aren't like that. Just when I turn the camera on. So I'm going to go ahead and look for another one. Well, the very next scoop, I did find it. Here it is. I don't even know what it is yet. Uh, I don't know what that is. Looks like some kind of... Oh, it looks like a... Like a fishing pole tie down thing. Like off a boat maybe. I don't know. Let's keep going. Camera's in the wrong position. Alright, we'll do another live dig here. I think that's a 29. It's kind of all over the place. It's probably a tent steak. Or iron. <laughs> I shouldn't just say tent steak. Sounds good though. Yeah, I need to figure out where the volume is on this thing. Yeah, that's iron for sure. Listen to it. <laughs> I'm just gonna see if I can reach down and grab it. Well, maybe not. Can't do that. Maybe I didn't even get it out of the hole. There it is. Tent steak. So tent steaks do pick up on this. But again, I haven't messed with the controls. I just turned it on basically. Tried to turn up the volume. I did figure out how to noise cancel. Um, and I think, I think that's all I've done to it too, so far. Yeah. Anyways, our friend is here. <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> Your name 
It's too common. <laughs> it's hard for me to remember. Robert. Robert. It's so common. <laughs> oh, that's my uh, Jeff. brother-in-law, Robert. Okay, we'll be brother-in-law. Yeah, he runs a dairy farm, or he used oh. to. <laughs> yeah, way back east. Then they came in and did the slam drilling. Oh, yeah. They did that on my grandma's property. Yeah, yeah. Then he gets, he gets, yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> See you later, Jeff. <laughs> One. <laughs> Copper. <laughs> wow, the waves are looking really nice today. So that's Jeff. He can't hear, but he can talk. I can hear. That works for us. All right, back to it. All right, this should be a good signal. I'm starting to learn. Actually, it's gonna take me like a week. That's a 41. I'm thinking dime. I think a dime is 45 though. I did dig a couple coins off camera but mostly 10 sticks that's it. that should sound better it's like a mix between iron and <laughs> a good good hit <laughs> ow <laughs> why did I just hit myself gotta get the you gotta hit this thing to make it work. <laughs> See? <laughs> Let's see what this is. Uh, I thought for sure oh, it was not on a 10 stake this time, but there we go. After I got it out of the ground, I kinda knew though. Like, where'd it go? Once it disappears, you kind of have to realize you're probably digging a tent stake. But if it's hitting it's tent stakes, that means I'm going to hit gold too. That means it's hitting everything. That's just a small signal. 50. Let's see what it is. I like it, it's a repeatable signal. So far, so good. And it disappeared. Dang it. Where the heck? still in there. Alright. Maybe now. 48, 60. Maybe it's just a penny. A zinc penny maybe? Let's see. Oh, actually. It's a quarter. Let's see what a quarter rings up as. I'll see you, Jeff. 50. So. Rings up as 50. Now I know what a quarter is. So when I'm digging a quarter, 50. The waves are not, you can't tell on camera, but they're good. They're really nice today. Look at that. Well, they're gone now. <laughs> but when the sets come in, they're really nice. That's just a little one. But down there, there's some bigger ones. All right, let's keep going. And by the way, there's some good looking fishing out there. Uh, let me zoom out. Just right out here. 
right past the shore. You don't even have to cast that far. I can tell there's just a big hole out there. And it goes all the way down. Uh, all the way that way too, almost. But I'm getting targets, I can't stop. <laughs> I'm not gonna stop until it's high tide. Um, let's keep going. All right, there's no way this one's a tin stake. Well, now it sounds like one. Jeez. What the heck happened? <laughs> oh well. I'll put a scoop on it. It was a good repeatable signal, and it's still pretty good. But when I first hit it, it was like totally repeatable, just like beep, 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 beep. I was going over it like that. 29. Maybe I'm just missing it here. Oh, I felt something. Guess what? <laughs> I was wrong. It is a tent stake again. Yeah. Oh, hello. Just, just a tent stake. Uh, uh, is that the That's for the tent on uh, the beach, people. Oh, the tent, yeah. yeah. Who, who made this one? Who made the. I don't know. <laughs> that was me. See? Did I find? Oh, that wood. Yeah, wood. Yeah. No good ones yet. That yeah. that one might be good. Uh, yeah. So, do you sometimes wear the gold ring? Yep, lots. Mm. Oh, good. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that, 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 some people they love the ring too. So. Yeah. Oh, I was taping that. <laughs> he was asking me, who's making these lines? <laughs> but he, he didn't even understand English. So I told him it was me. Anyways, let's keep going. All right, the taping. Time for a break. A fishing break, that is. So we got the fishing pole. Ugly stick. I don't know why they call it that. It's not that ugly. Got our detector here. By the way, I would detect with that detector any day of the week. Uh, I still am gonna, I'm gonna give it like a week of constant use because that's what it takes me to get used to any detector. Even when I got my uh, Equinox, I was like wanting to go back to my old detector right away, <laughs> which was the Excalibur, which is also a good detector. So, I'm going to give it about a week. <laughs> and we might switch over completely. Who knows? I don't know. I just, I kind of like it because now if somebody wants to go detecting with me and they don't have a detector, I got an extra one now. And it's, a de it's, a, it's not a bad detector. I mean, I found a ring right away. So, I got my sand crab already. Uh, there's one. Too small. But those small sand crabs, you can use uh, like multiple of them. Uh. Oh, there's a good size one. I like a medium size. And you just hook them on. <laughs> Actually, it's so sandy, I don't know where I'm hooking them. But, but basically, I like to hook them by the head around the head area because I notice those perch they bite the heads off <laughs> the head biters they don't want the shell they just want the meat 
All right, I'm gonna throw it out there a little ways. First pass. Well, that wasn't very far at all. And today I have a heavier weight on, but the waves are rougher. So, I'll just try to stay in front of my line. And sometimes I'll just rip the bait off right away, so. Yeah, if you're gonna do this, you might check your bait often. Don't just let it sit out there. Although that does work too. I actually have pole holders. You stick them in the sand and just stick your pole there. And then when you get a bite, you can just go walk over there and pull them in. But I'm mobile right now, so I can't do that. Well, I could if I brought one with me. But I didn't. All right. No instant bite. And I'll go ahead and turn you guys on. If I get a bite, well, if I catch one, the hook up. Well, we weren't catching any, so we we're gonna go back to detecting. Gave it a good try. You know, if you don't catch one right away, might as well try later, because I'm not gonna keep any today. I was just trying to catch one to see what's out there. My goal is to catch a cor Corvina. Corvina. I always say Corvina. Uh, a Corbina, it's a fish that I've caught in the past. Actually, I've caught them on video before. Uh, but they're more elusive. Also, I want to catch white sea bass and a halibut. The only thing I haven't caught before is a white sea bass. But again, I'm not rigged up for that, really. Still could catch one. So every time I come, I'm going to try. If I get one of those species, I'll be happy. <laughs> and I'll actually eat a hell. If a keeper, I'll eat it. Uh, that's expensive. I never get to eat all of it. All of it. All right, you guys. See you on the next target. We're going to be... So I put my pole back on my backpack and then just start going again. All right, we'll do a live dig. Small sound, but very repeatable. Not broken up, but with my luck, it's gonna be a thin steak because I turned the camera. It's funny, I got down here, I got that earring and that ring, and I was thinking, oh, it's gonna be a good day. Well, it's, it's, it actually is a good day. Anytime you find targets on the beach, it's a good day, trust me. Because there's sometimes you don't find anything. All right, I'm going to reach it and grab it. Oops, my fishing pole's hitting the sand. Uh, been finding these a lot. Zinc pennies. I should have known that's what it was. Anyways, uh, the sun is out all the way. Look at blue sky. This is the first day of summer as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Tomorrow, if it's like this, and the next day. Oh, my hair is a mess right now. I need to get a haircut. Wow. It's like a big bush. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Well, I decided to try it in the dry because we need to do a test in the dry to see if it's good. Uh, where was the signal? 47, 47, 46, 45. So if I was down in the sand, what I've learned so far, that'd be a dime, I think. Still 47. Oh, 
am I missing it? Uh oh, it's something big. <laughs> Maybe a toy. Yep, it is. Oh, it's a nice little car. Viper. Anyways, a nice little uh, car. grandkids that come to our house my sister's grandkids they're kind of like my grandkids too because I'm the same age as my sister anyways they like to play with that stuff when I find it literally a beautiful day today I'm actually having to stay out of the sun think about leaving because of the sun I haven't built up a tan yet. A sunblocker on my skin. They had the towel in there. Anyways, we'll do some dry, see how we do. Because we gotta try the dry. Just gotta. Alright, here's a shallow one. 1920. Now with Equinox, I'd say that's a, da a penny for sure. But with a legend, we'll see what it is. Ah, look at there. That would be a low tone on my other detector. Wow. Anyways, they're different. <laughs> that's what I mean, I gotta learn this thing keep going all right this will be it for the dry for as far as showing you guys uh here's another 30 31 32 so it's probably a 32 Let's see what it is i like learning new things <laughs> ah just a zinc penny those things can come up any number on my other detector yeah it's like i've had really super low numbers high numbers they're just uh zinc pennies that's why must not be a very uh good metal <laughs> the waves are still looking like fun i'm actually jealous of those guys out there <laughs> Riding those waves. All right, let's keep going. Look what I just found. That just made my trip right there. There's a brand new rope on it even. And a clip. Wow. That's amazing. I'm gonna go home now. That made my day. Right there, I collect these things. This is a good one. It's got three on there. Three for one. Alright, we'll see you in the wrap up. <laughs> I'm happy now. There's also a big log I want to take down there, but I can't. It's too heavy. <laughs> I might do a little more in the dry here. But that made my day right there. I actually got a ring in the dry sand. But it doesn't count because I saw it with my eyes. It was like I saw something shiny and I walked over to it. Put my detector on. I'm like, there's a ring right there. What the heck? Uh, anyways, we're hoping it's silver. Um, not likely. Feels pretty not real. <laughs> it looks good. All right. I was uh, actually headed. I see some cans over here just laying all over the ground. And I brought a bag with me. I'm thinking I'm just going to collect them up. And all of a sudden, we're getting all kinds of stuff here. <laughs> Cans, <laughs> rings, uh, buoys. So today turned into actually a pretty good day. Oh, except we didn't catch a fish when we went fishing. I could go catch one real quick just to say we didn't get skunked, but I'm not going to do it. It's actually a lot of work. So... Two rings so far, not bad. 
one I did not find with the detector. I mean, I scanned it, D -d 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 -d, and then it, it, uh, maybe there's something else there. No, I don't think so. That's where I found it. It's exactly where it was. Like maybe they set their jewelry down. There is something there. It's not the best sound. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Guys. I'm glad I dug that. Look at this. That definitely looks fake. But if it was real, I'd say it's 18 carat. <laughs> Looks more coppery than anything though. A little chain like that came up on this. And probably because it has a pendant. It has a pendant with diamonds. All right. That was cool. <laughs> I eyeballed one, scanned over it, got a little signal and got another one. So guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna scan over it again. I don't think that's even broken. I think that's still a good chain. All right. Uh, push the sand back over. Sometimes you just move the sand around that you already dug. Find something else. Alright, we'll take that. See my fishing pole sticking up? <laughs> oh, I'm taping. <laughs> oh man, I'm tired already. Uh, I found another. I don't know what it is yet, but it looked like something. Uh, suitcase. Wow, that's weird. It's like a suitcase. It probably says something on it, but it has a hole on the side of it, like a bead. Kind of like a, probably on some, a purse or something, some clothing. Anyways, more jewelry. <laughs> I gotta call that jewelry. So it's going in the jewelry container. Cause uh, the other day I went home and I realized I got a hole in my bag. So if I put it in the front pocket, uh, right here, it'll fall out. So there's like a little front pocket. So as long as I don't put anything in the front pocket, I'll be okay. So I need to get another one. Detect Ed. This bag has lasted me. It's been through the ringer with me. So the fact that it has a hole just now is still good been a long time but the front parts I mean the big main bag is still good I just wore it out that's all I don't want to stop but I'm tired <laughs> I keep going all right I figured to do a live dig I'll try to be quick I always talk too much I like the way this thing sounds Ugh. of course I'm gonna turn the camera on and get a bottle cap I like the way it sounds though, it's pretty clear in the dry sand. Uh, but yeah, it does work much better in the dry sand. Well, I don't know about that. There's, I just don't, I can't really say right now. It's, uh, I haven't used it long enough. Still getting into it. Because there's a lot of uh, tent stakes in the wet sand. So I kept getting thrown off. But when you get a sound, it's really clear actually. I'm gonna keep going in the dry. I'm not gonna turn it on anymore. I'm just, if I find something good, I'll turn it on. The video's getting out of control. Got a ring in the dry sand. I, this, I don't know if it's just a machine or I just found a good area, but I'm just killing it. I mean, signal after signal after signal. And there's these 
you get these low signal and it, you can kind of tell it's a good you know you know it's a good signal and then you dig it up and it's a quarter and it's like whoa that was a deep quarter so but but look how loud hot sauce packet comes up um so i'm probably gonna have to mess with the how many tones there are or whatever because a hot sauce pack on my other detector would be a, that'd be a low tone but it does bring up a low number it's 11 so i got that hot sauce pack and then i got this one and then i got another sound here and i sounded the same so i'm thinking another hot sauce pass pack but i looked at the number and the number was like 29 or something and I, oh wait hey, that's not a hot sauce pack so i dug it and i got that ring People did litter, but they left me a ring. <laughs> no, the ring looks old. The hot sauce packs look brand new. Anyways, back at it. All right, we're at home now. Actually, before uh, I do the wrap up, I'm gonna take this tomato. And I'm gonna do something with it, and I'll show you guys. I'm just showing you guys like stuff that I'm making out of my garden that I'm using the food for that I'm growing. I'll show you now. All right, that's all it is. <laughs> Couple of tomatoes on some bread. Got some pepper jack cheese, ham, uh, some pepperoncinis, and lettuce, tomatoes. And I didn't use any mustard, just mayonnaise. And that's it. I'll see you at the wrap up. The bakers. Go back to sleep. Nothing to see here. <laughs> all right, we're here. And first of all, I just want to say, <laughs> I'm not kidding. That was like one of the best sandwiches I had in a long time. I don't, the tomato was good, but the bread was good. Everything was good. All the combination of it. The tomatoes were super juicy. It was just dripping. It was like so good. I mean, that bread was so soft and good too. Probably bad for me, but I worked hard today and I deserve it. <laughs> I really did work hard. Um, as you'll see here in a minute, uh, 10, 20, 30, 5, 35 pennies, most of them being zinc. Uh, probably two regular pennies. Not regular. Nowadays, they're the old pennies. <laughs> um, quarters. Look at all those quarters we got. 14 quarters. Now, I have not been digging change like this at all lately. Uh, seven dimes. Two nickels. A key. Two cars. Well, one's a van, actually. Um, this is just trash. I was gonna show you, look, it got this. That means it can get gold. But as you can see, it got this necklace and I actually got that live. Um, so it can get gold. An eyeball ring that's falling apart. This says princess on it. It's a little suitcase. It says, I love princess. I heart princess. And there's a hole through the side of it. And here's a little copper ring, just a little junker. Oh, and here, here's a nice ring, but it's like still in good condition, but it's just uh, some foreign metal. <laughs> I was gonna say stainless steel, but I don't, I don't even know if it's stainless steel. Uh, the winner of the day is that earring. And I believe that was our second dig, or maybe even our first. I forget, I don't remember. But yeah, I got the loop out. It says 925 right on it. I was hoping it was white gold because I did not see any rust or anything. And it's, look at how, you could tell how well made it is. When they look like that, you know, there's no rust. You might have some uh, precious metal there. Uh, here's all the tent stakes. We were digging everything. Even if I knew it was a tent stake, I was digging it. Uh, in fact, I just need a detector where doesn't even discriminate just gets everything because i'd like to, i like digging everything off the beach that all that is trash that i took off the beach that's pretty cool 
Um, the buoys. I take back. I mean, they could have that silver earring. The buoys are worth more to me. That is really cool. And I realized the rope on there is brand new. And the clip is brand new. Then I re remember when I was standing there, I go, I'd like to take that log too. Well, some boater probably pulled up to that log and put this on there so other boats wouldn't hit it. They would see the buoys and go around, you know. So, well, at least it made it sure. And now I get to appreciate their buoys. They're actually old buoys. So that's cool. Um, yeah, uh, I don't think we're gonna do a garden thing. Too much garden stuff. In fact, I, I got more stuff I ate out of the garden for the end of the video. <laughs> My dinner last night. We ate the green, the peas, whatever. Green beans. Yeah, it's a bush bean, so it's a green bean. Here's where we stole that tomato. Right there. He was there for so long, now he's gone. In my stomach. And then, here's our bullfrog. We'll start putting him on there every time I see him. Maybe we'll get to watch him grow. He doesn't jump away. I actually cannot see him. I hope you guys can. My screen's dirty. I think I'm pointing it in the right direction. Oh, there he is. He's on that leaf. Oh, he just moved. He backed down. Just when I was saying he's pretty tame, he's not. Um, yeah, these things. I'm already zoomed in. They're starting to bloom. They're getting there. Uh, the sun, the sun, the sun was out today at the beach. You don't even know. I've been waiting for this day for a long time. <laughs> uh, I was down there and it actually really, it changes your whole mood when you're down there. It's just so nice and beautiful. I mean, I was about ready to go jump in the water. Um, that being said, I guess that's it for this one. The Nocta Legend. I can't find anything very bad about it at all. I mean, I'm sure I could think of something. Uh, and if I go long enough, I can pick out some bad things about it. But that's a pretty darn good... Well, look. It's a pretty good, good detector. And I'm not being paid to say that or anything. That's all they did was say... Hey, look, Robert, you want to try out a detector? And I said, yeah. And they said, okay, we'll send it to you. And that's it. I didn't, I'm not getting paid or anything. I'm not trying to sell any on my uh, thing below or whatever it's called. But yeah, it's just, I'm telling you that's a decent detector and I'm glad they sent it to me. But like I said before, I was actually thinking about getting another detector. So I could take like friends with me and stuff because some of my friends don't have detectors and now I got two, so we can go. They also gave me a uh, underwater handheld one, but that's for a different video. But I can't wait for that one too. Like I said, I wanted to go swimming today. Now that the sun's out, we may be seeing that one sooner than you think. Um, yeah. So uh, without doing a commercial for them, I'm just saying that is a decent metal detector. It got the job done, obviously. And it doesn't cost as much as those other ones. Now, those other ones are good, too, but this is pretty good. It's, the thing is well made. It, it's just amazing how well made it is. Um, yeah. With that being said... Let's move on to the next video. We're going to use that one again just because uh, I want to get a good feel for it. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. All righty. I have some little beet bush beans right there. And, well, I didn't pick them all, but I did pick some. They're just little plants. Look. <laughs> There's some in here I didn't even pick them off of. I did pick some of them off of here, though some right in here 
So it doesn't take many of these plants to get a lot of beans. I just realized uh, when I read about them, they said, pick the beans. Uh, Cause it'll produce more if you pick them. If you don't, then it's just gonna die. So there's some more in there. My cat. I see some more over there too. Yeah. So I kind of pop beans down everywhere when I planted them. I pulled a bunch of uh, that stuff out of my pond so my bullfrog can actually swim around. Um, he's a pretty, uh, not too scared because look at him. He's right there. My little bullfrog. I like him. <laughs> We're friends now. Tell the cat eats them and then he'll die. All right, here's the green beans. We made them, my mother made them actually. And that's one potato. She made it like the baked potato. And there's the rest of them. Those are all the ones we picked today. They're really good. The potato is really good. I like that, really good. It is. And mm, mm, mm. so what do you think, Mother? Are they good? Uh-huh. Yeah. Very good. Jamie doesn't like them? Love them. Summer? Sorry. Oh, the potatoes are good. <laughs> <laughs> Summer doesn't want these green things. <laughs> and sunshine? 